foreign fighters backing Ukrainian soldiers trained near Russian-controlled Kremina in the Donetsk region on Tuesday, January the 3rd. The International Legion, called the Carpathian Sikh Battalion, is made up of a dozen soldiers of various nationalities and is split into three companies, one Spanish-speaking, another English-speaking, and the last one Ukrainian-speaking. The commander who goes by his war name, Zvat, said the foreign volunteers were crucial to the fight against Russia. I can't overestimate their taking part in our battalion. These people, foreign fighters, are crucial for us. They are ready and have the right attitude. They want to fight. 60% of them show themselves very well in combat. They support us and fulfill all their tasks while asking only very few questions. We explain their tasks to them, what we're supposed to do and the expected result said Zvat. Juan Pablo Hurtado, 41, a Colombian soldier who arrived in March to Ukraine, said the war had been very different to his previous experience fighting the guerrilla in his home country. Totally different from the internal war that we have in Colombia. It can't be compared because here there is a lot of artillery. They, meaning Russians, hit us with missiles, with cluster bombs, and it is totally different. So we are hitting it, trying to survive and trying to get the Russians out of here, from Ukraine, said Hurtado. Front lines have scarcely budged for weeks, with most intense fighting raging around the city of Bakhmut, described by commanders on both sides as a meat grinder. Russian forces are literally trying to advance over the corpses of their own soldiers toward Bakhmut and the military situation there remains the most difficult. Ukrainian military commander-in-chief General Valery Zaluzny said, The governor of Ukraine's Luhansk province, which along with neighbouring Donetsk forms the industrial Donbas region claimed by Moscow, said on Tuesday Ukrainian forces had made steady advances in the direction of Russian-held Svotov and Kremina. Guero, a Brazilian soldier who arrived a month ago, said he had seen many injured but he would fight until the end. These are bloody battles. Many friends are injured but we have to recover them quickly. We will insist and persist until we win. Each stage, each space that we win, each centimetre that we gain is a victory, said Guerrero. Naz, the leader of the Carpathian Sikh International Battalion, is a Ukrainian who lived in Argentina for 21 years. Once the war broke out on February 24th, Naz returned to the Ukraine on April the 1st, 2022, as a volunteer with his brother. His brother died in battle two months ago. All the people who came from Afghanistan, Iraq, Colombia, wherever, none of them had seen a war like this, not one. With such precision of artillery, such precision of people drones, it is not easy. Here it plays with your mind. You have to adjust mentally because if you don't get used to the bombs falling near you very often, you go home quickly because you can't take it, he said. Russia's defense ministry on Tuesday, January the 3rd, announced several offensives, including strikes launched by Russian aerospace forces that it said had killed more than 130 foreign mercenaries in Donetsk. It said missile and air strikes launched at a hardware concentration near Druzkivka railway station in Donetsk had killed up to 120 Ukrainian personnel and, and destroyed two HIMARS launchers and more than 800 rockets. Russia, which invaded Ukraine last February the 24th, has increasingly resorted to mass airstrikes against Ukrainian cities after suffering defeats on the battlefield in the second half of 2022. It denies targeting civilians. Elsewhere, Ukraine's military general staff said a December 31st strike on a Russian-held area of the southern Kherson region had killed or injured some 500 Russian troops. São batalhas é, sangrentas. 
muitos companheiros se machucam, mas estamos, tem uns que se recuperaram rápido, é, mas estamos persistindo, insistindo, persistindo, estamos vencendo. Cada etapa, cada um pedaço que a gente ganha, cada um, cada um centímetro que a gente ganha é uma vitória. Morcu foi para Morcu? Aí, aí, galera. Não sei, Pedro. Toda a gente que vieram de Afeganistão, de Iraque, de Colômbia, de onde seja, nenhum de eles não vieram de uma guerra assim. Nenhum. Com tanta precisão de artilharia, de tanta precisão de gente, drones. No es fácil, no es fácil. Eh, acá se juega mucho la, la cabeza mentalmente, hay que jugar muy bien acá, porque si no, eh, si no te acostumbras a que se te caen cada rato las bombas, eh, te vas a tu casa rápido porque no aguanta. Бойовий настрій готові, ми дивимося ми в очі, ми проводимо інструктаж, проводимо співбесіду попередньо і беремо їх з підписом контракту, відповідним юридичним оформленням, і вони служать у нас. Після прибуття в підрозділ ми проводимо свого роду злагодження, ну, його назвати злагодженням не можна, але в нас є люди, які ну, є спеціалісти, які володіють стандартами НАТО, знають процедури НАТО, тому ми легко в тому числі я, тому ми легко знаходимо спільну мову і втягуємо їх в підрозділ, ставимо бойові задачі і разом спільно з ними виконуємо. Чому вони в нас? Тому що ну, процедура оформлення в нас більш спрощена була, так як це був добровольчий батальйон. Далі, коли ми перейшли і стали підрозділом ЗСУ. Ця процедура також трошки адаптувалась, що дозволило нам короткий срок оформити їх юридично, офіційно, дати їм права, такі як нашим воякам, і успішно виконувати завдання без всяких проблем.